This week is the week America will fully wake up to the autism crisis. If three million children in America one day went missing, what would we as a country do? America wouldn't give a fuck. Because they don't give a fuck when children go missing all the time. Yet we've, for the most part, lost touch with three million American children. And as a nation, we've done nothing. We've let families split up, go broke, and struggle through their days and years. Good to know they didn't learn from the frickin' I Am Autism commercial. No more. Tomorrow in Washington, D.C., we will gather an unprecedented number of bipartisan officials, congressional leaders, and experts in every area of autism for a three-day summit. Don't our families deserve it? America has always been great about its people. Which people? Because it's not women, it's not black people, it's especially not black women, it's not anybody other than rich white men. But given your husband was the CEO of NBC for about like 30 years, it's no wonder you think that. Each day across this country, those three million moms, dads, and other caretakers I mentioned wake to the sounds of their son or daughter bounding through the house. That is, if they aren't already awake. Truth be told, many of them barely sleep, or when they do, they somehow sleep with one ear toward their children's room, always waiting, wondering what they will get into next. That just sounds like children. Sometimes the silence is worse. This sounds like living with my puppy or a toddler. These families are not living. This is autism. In despair, in fear of the future. This is autism. On bad days, they are depleted. Mentally, physically, and especially emotionally. Maybe they can't afford a trip to the doctor specializing in autism. Maybe there is a waiting list for ABA, speech, and OT. Maybe their insurance won't pay. Maybe they don't have the money to pay a special lawyer to fight for school services. This is autism. No, this is systemic inequality. If it's not in the brain, that's not autism. That's systemic inequality. If any of this sounds familiar, you know autism. And if you know autism, you know we are looking at a monumental health crisis. What? What? And what about their parents? How much can we ask them to handle? How long will it be before the exhaustion makes them ill? How long before they break? Is this just designed to make autistic people feel like shit? You cannot shame people into action. And this level of shaming does not help people. This level of shaming only serves to tell autistic people that we are a burden financially, emotionally, physically, and mentally on our families. This is the foundation of Autism Speaks. That is the founder of Autism Speaks. And this is the history that they do not address and pretend does not exist. If they want to be better, they have to acknowledge where they were wrong to begin with and how they plan to make it right.